show is called Resonance Paintings Cat Orchestra. The centerpiece in the show is this cat orchestra, and all around it are paintings that I've made using the sounds from the cats. Inside every one of the cat vessels, there's a tiny microphone, and that microphone runs to this keyboard. The keyboard doesn't make any sound at all. It just turns on the microphone. The microphone amplifies that resonant space inside the, the cat. So this leopard, for example, if I press the note that corresponds to the leopard, turns on the microphone, and we hear the resonance of that in real time. Whatever note the vessel's been singing ever since it was made will be the note that it sings now, and if you come back in 20,000 years, it will still be singing that same note, because the note that comes out of every cat, out of every vessel, is determined by the shape and the volume geometry of that vessel. And then when I'm not here, it is playing a loop of the composition that I've written for it, which is based on all of the musical memories of all the musical collaborators that I've had in the last few years, I always ask them what's the first piece of music you remember in your life, um, because they, people are a little bit like vessels as well, you know, we're carrying music around inside us. I wanted to explore how we could actually see what we're hearing. And this body of work called the Resonance Paintings is both a way of like visualizing what's happening in this installation and in many of my other works, but it's also like a very real way of, of painting um, in a very precise way. I use sound as my paintbrush by which I mean that I, I lay a canvas horizontally in my studio and I play sound through a speaker that's underneath the canvas and I use the finest possible pigment that I scatter over the surface of the canvas. And because it's so fine, the speaker moves the air and the air moves the pigment into the shape of the sounds that I play through. And for this show, I've used the sound from the cats, from the vessels, to paint the paintings that you can see around me. And because I have 37 notes, because every note has its own frequency, which has its own geometry, I'm able to choose those notes to find the forms that I'm looking for on the canvases. when you're in the gallery and you look at these, these images of sound and harmony, you're also hearing them as this installation plays to you. So you're kind of both feeling and seeing the sound at the same time. I have worked on this series of films called Reanimations for many years, where I take an animation like Snow White or The Jungle Brook, and I print out every single frame from a, a sequence and ask a different child to trace and reinterpret each one of those frames individually. But as they redrew them and traced them, they followed the shapes, but they go completely crazy and free in their interpretation of the drawing. And I take their drawings and I scan them and I print them back onto celluloid film. 
and it becomes this amazing psychedelic twisted version of the original animation having been filtered through the, the minds of all these kids. This animation film is as much like about the harmony of this joint com communal work of animation that all these kids have done as it is about their individuality. So in the same way that every one of these cats as well is like this very unique uh, expression of a particular cultural interpretation of a cat, each one of these drawings that these kids have made is also this completely wildly individualistic work of art, but which together, when you put them into the film, become a single animated artwork. When you go downstairs, you'll see this animation film. And downstairs, you'll also see that there's two sculptures in the show made with resin and fragments of cats that haven't made it into the show because they've either arrived broken at my studio or they've, they've just somehow not survived history. And I have this body of work called Recompositions, which are made using resin. And I sink real objects into resin, which is pigmented with black ink and black pigment. And in these two sculptures, you can see fragments of objects from my life, very much about, about music. But you can also see these poor little tiny faces of shattered cats that have never, they used to have a musical note and, and they, now they don't. 